My name is uh, Hussam Salama. I choose neonatal medicine as a subspeciality because I, I, I love babies. I feel that they, they are uh, beginning their lives hopeless and they need support and help. And uh, this is, was my choice from the beginning. When I used to be a student, I decided to be a neonatologist. The first time to come across the uh, negative effects of noise was during our world rounds when we start to notice that uh, when we produce any sudden unexpected noise, babies will really have uh, abnormal vital signs. Their heart rates will be disturbed. Their uh, oxygen requirements will increase, uh, particularly those babies who are very sick. And we start to ask ourselves uh, a lot of questions. How much noise we can afford to allow inside our NICU? And uh, since then, we start to come with ideas to control the noise inside the NICU. And one of these ideas was to using some barriers. And this bar the most important barrier was uh, an earmuffs. And we start to uh, use the earmuff. So noise is a very important factor. To develop the brain, but excessive noise will affect the brain negatively and will affect the progress of he the health progress of the baby inside the NICU. We uh, actually, we uh, to control the, the problem of noise, we, we implemented certain uh, uh, plans. The most important was introducing the earmuffs, and then we, s we really focused on educating the parents, the staff, doctors and nurses, and uh, and domestic staff inside the NICU to uh, how to control the noise. We are using an electronic alarm. It will flash once uh, the noise exceeds certain decibels. These are really the most important plans for in, in our NICU. We felt that introducing mini muffs will help a lot in, in physically uh, controlling the transmitted noise from outside to uh, inside the incubators. And those babies who are very sick will require certain way, physical ways of protecting babies from the noise. And we came with an idea that uh, those who are working with uh, outside in construction, uh, using earmuffs to protect their hearing uh, style, so we decided to, uh, to imitate the same. Also, in, in the evidence based, if you look at cert, uh, many units in the world, they are using earmuffs as well. And uh, we found that the, uh, the mini muff was suitable for our, uh, in our babies inside the NICU. I think all babies, all babies will get benefits from using earmuffs, sick babies. Um, whether they are full term babies, 40 weeks gestation or extreme low birth weight babies. At different gestation age will, uh, will benefit from using earmuffs a different way, uh, particularly when they are sick. For example, babies who are on mechanical ventilator, it is very important to keep them quiet and to keep them calm. And uh, noise is the, the last thing you like to have uh, inside your in ICU while the baby is uh, hooked to the respirator because if he become upset everything will crash the heart rate will, will, will change the respiratory rate even the oxygen requirement will go up so you have to be very careful in, up, uh, in, in using noise inside the in ICU this is why I feel that uh, earmuffs and noise control inside the in ICU will benefit all gestation age irrespective of the, the weight, irrespective of the status. But sick babies will benefit more. Since we start to implement the e using earmuffs, everybody will start to ask questions. What is this? Why we are using it? So they become really more aware of the importance of the noise uh, inside the NICU. I, I totally agree that using earmuffs indirectly help the staff to be more aware and appreciate the side effects of noise. From our point of view, we conducted two important studies. The one using earmuffs and the one measuring the effect of noise uh, produced by certain ventilators. And uh, these two studies really 
had a good percussion in, in the scientific arena outside. And uh, many questions came to us asking about these two studies. Now, we are working very hard inside our NICU to make the NICU noise friendly. And uh, we are implementing many programs to protect babies from the developmental point of view. So uh, neurodevelopmental outcomes is getting better inside our in ICU. Uh, disturbance inside the in ICU is much less than before. So we are moving forward in protecting babies from the neurodevelopmental aspect. The summary of my study is that inside the in ICU, there are high level of noise and Sometimes you cannot really control this noise and uh, accept it or not, there will be noise inside the NICU and we have to be very strict in applying noise protection programs and we have to provide babies with uh, earmuffs when they are at risk of uh, being on ventilators or are on respirator or they are sick. So this is very important. Uh, heart rate is affected, respiratory rate is affected, oxygen saturation and oxygen requirement will be affected in a noisy uh, in ICU. Well, I remember very well, I used to work with a five kilogram baby who was overweight. And uh, we used to have really, this baby was occupying the whole incubator and it was very difficult to move the baby because of the size of the baby. And at any time we touch the baby, the baby will, will startle and we have to give him a lot of sedation. And one day we were doing the world round and uh, a, a, a minor accident happened. Uh, the mother grabbed the chair on the floor and produced a lot of noise. And that day, the baby started badly and his oxygen saturation deteriorated very bad and we have to really go back again from square zero because of this, this big noise that produced. Uh, I, re I will never forget this uh, accident because it was for noise and we have to really to pay a lot of attention to such babies. Our research document that uh, the group who used the IRMA has a lower heart uh, rate and uh, less uh, tachypnea uh, and uh, we are able to wean them from uh, mechanical ventilation earlier comparing to the group who don't use the earmuff. I, I think it is very important to use the minimuff during transportation, mainly if we are uh, talking about transporting the, patient, the babies uh, by ambulance, a lot of traffic and a lot of uh, cars alarms and uh, also when you are transferring the baby by abroad also through the plane also there is a loud uh, noise and um, it, it affects really the, the hearing of these uh, tiny babies and by using this uh, ear, earmuff we are not able to reduce totally this noise but we are reducing some of this that it will help them uh, to minimize their uh, affection regarding their neurodevelopment. Uh, there is a good relation uh, between um, use of the uh, earmuff and uh, regular sleep-awake cycle for those tiny uh, sick uh, babies. And it, will, it, it is uh, really uh, well documented uh, during our research study. The mini uh, muff, it is a small device, safe, and during our uh, research study, we don't uh, document any side effect uh, from uh, this uh, device.